that the offense is going to look a little bit different the way that Nash is able to run things. A lot of that RPO, first down carry is to Tyler Nevins out of the backfield. That's a pickup of five for Nevins. You got to watch, he's everywhere. He's, he's charging the mesh. Um, he's going to drop in and coverage, and you're going to see a lot of him today bouncing around with different positions. Here's the option play now and a toss out to the Spartans offense on their first series of the game. Nash on the ground. This is what he does so well. Look at the cutback. He welcomes the contact at the 35 yard line, but can't. Um, he gives you a lot of different options with that athletic ability, that twitchy ability. Um, you can do the zone read, and he's got an arm as well. It's just about simplifying for him, and, and there it is. He throws on the run to Derek Deese, the tight end. That's a nice pick at throwing on the run. That's what Nick Nash likes to do. Yep, get him out of the pocket, simplify it for him, get guys open, and um, allow him to be the athlete he is. So much of the Spartan offense was focused on Derek Deese last year. Trey Walker, Bailey Gay, that they were two big wide receivers for San Jose State, but the tight end was used so often in third down, red zone situations. He's been a workhorse for San Jose State. So first and 10 on the Aggie side of the field. This is Shamar Garrett trying to find an edge, but never did find, find really a role for him. He's lined up now just offset to the left side at the bottom of your screen. Decent motion. Fake of a handoff. That's a throw out to Shamar. That's a flag down that he just barely tackles. Especially because in that second level, Malachi Miller into the game for the Spartans. Kind of a high snap here, but back to the ground and Nevins right through. Throughout the season, the first four games, the Spartans just averaging 77 yards per game on the ground this year. Another first down and uh, back to Nevins, this time gobbled up. Nash, that RPO he gives to Nevins. Nevins finally trying to punch it in here now, though. Second and goal from the nine. Lots of options. Blitz picked up. Throw to Deese over the middle. Trying to fight his way to the goal line. Cannot make it, but a nice job. Good vision there from Nick Nash to get rid of that ball. Great throw. Great call by Coach McGiven. Just a tight end screen there. A little pump fake to the swing route. There you go. Yeah. And get it to your playmaker. Deese is a, is a great athlete, so you're trying to, get, again, feature th their strengths, and Deese is one of those players. Well, the problem about Derek Deese, his reputation, a third down play. Third and goal from the three. RPO to who had the rushing touchdown on that possession as well. Nash the draw. Nash, good running room over on the left side. Hurdles a down defender. State road for so long. They lost their starting quarterback. Nash to throw. There's Deese wide open at the 40-yard line in some space, and Deese will just take on four players, no problem. The big tight end fights for extra yardage. Got that play action and Deese wide open. It all looks the same, and did a good job of getting Nash out of the pocket. A high-low read. You're going to check that go route. Then you got Deese on the sail and, and Shamar in the flat. 25-yard gain on the right arm from Nick Nash. When the Spartans got back home, though, Nash walked right up to Kevin McGiven, the offensive coordinator, right off the bus and said, what's the deal next week? I want in. How do you not play somebody who's, who's doing that? You, you're excited about Natano. You're excited about Walker. But, but Nash is two games on the road against Hawaii and Western Michigan. He did make one throw attempt, but he was a wide receiver on a trick play in Honolulu. He throws here underneath. Nice catches made by Malachi Miller. Jukes the defender, spins right around. But he also knew that how else are you supposed to try and make a, a tackle yeah. in that situation? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to tell him. It's tough. Nevins on the ground. Finds some running room. Out to the outside. Past the 40. To the 50. Nevins with the speed. Still alive at the 30. Four plays just like that. Martin's right back to work on offense. Screen pass this time for Ross. Ross with some blocking, staying alive. Penalty marker comes into the night. 34 total penalties against them. They were averaging 76 yards a game in penalties. Now Nash to throw to Deese at the 20-yard line. Making up all that yardage that they just lost. Derek Deese, the tight end, fighting for yards near the first down. 20-yard gain for number 87. Deese was one of those guys yesterday I was watching. I'd be throwing at him every time. It's a mismatch all over the field. He's too big for safeties and too fast for linebackers, and, and, he, and it's showing up right there. He's, he's a good athlete. You're going to see him more tonight. Great ball by Nash, too. Just marked shy of the first down, so second and a short one for the Spartans. 
Kyrie Robinson is subbed back in. Deese in motion. Nash waited a long time to hand that one off to Robinson. Robinson, Robinson does not have enough for a first down here. Number 80. Nash to the ground. Nevins hit in the backfield. He's not going to get enough for a first. Dishes very quickly with some points on the board. Yeah, this could be a huge turning point in the game if he gets some points. Nash rolling right. On the run to Derek Deese in the end zone. It's a DD TD. And in one play, the Spartans are back into pay dirt. It's 23 to 14. There he is again, Deese Jr. Talked about him earlier. Great player, got, got an end zone, and, and you're going to see a lot more of him. There's a great job by Nash getting out of pocket and delivering an accurate ball. Good call by Coach McGivin as well. Derek Deese's second touchdown of the season. The Spartans have been fighting to try and get points off of turnovers this year. There haven't been a lot. Last week against Western Michigan, 91 against Southern Utah in the opener. Second down. It's back to the ground. This time hit in the backfield. Nevins just trying to fight to get back to the line of scrimmage. In this game. Spartans 2 of 4 on third down conversions tonight. Penalty marker comes in on this third down play. Nash trying to keep the play alive. Sweep past one defender. Scurry's out of play. Nash from their own 31. So it is first and 10 from the 31 now. Spartans have two wide receivers in this formation. Malachi Miller just cannot basically say our guys are better than yours. Second down now for the Spartans. Nash, and this just uh, at the feet of Shamar Nash Garrett trying to set up that Garrett. fly on taking 10 or 12 carries a game. Decent motion, third down. Nash running. Look at the speed here. Tries to get to the edge and slung down from. I kept finding pictures with him holding a ball while playing. I mean, in game. Here's Shamar Garrett out of the backfield, trying to speed his way toward the first down. Loses the football at the 25 yard line. And it looks inside moving forward that this is not a long term or serious injury guys. Yeah, that's that's great news the way he came off the field. It was troubling to look at now Derek Deese on a quick inside release has the catch and a first down all the way up to the 35 yard line for San Jose State 26 yards on the play for the tight end. Yeah, that's a mismatch. I've been saying it all all night. Deese versus safety versus a linebacker. He's too fast. He's gonna and he's athletic. He's gonna catch everything. Put it in the vicinity and he's gonna come down with it. So and it's a great job by Nash throwing it on time and giving him that chance. And Derek Deese, a big part of the reason why the Spartans are ahead right now, and they're gonna try and extend that lead with him. Already over a hundred yards receiving, 104 on six catches tonight. Raddick in motion, fake handoff. Blitz coming, picked up. Deese again at the 48-yard line of New Mexico State. Out on some more for Derek Deese, 12 more on top, his seventh reception of the night. Great job by Coach McGivin on these last two play calls. He's kind of recognized that Spezia on the other side is dialing up these different pressures, and it's going to leave holes. You had man on the other one, so it's going to be a, a mismatch. And then they got this blitz zone where they're firing one of these linebackers, and, and it's going to leave somebody open, and, and Deese is that guy again. So. Love the play call, getting that rhythm back. Well, we talk so much about Nick Nash as a running quarterback. That was a good throw from this quarterback who hadn't been playing as a quarterback the last couple of weeks. Hamilton, they'll set up the screenplay for him this time. Right, so another penalty on San Jose State. Double tight end formation this go around. It's Garrett to the edge. Cut back, beautifully done. Spinning, diving, in zone. Shamar Garrett. He is like another coach down there. He's dressed like one tonight, too. Nash play fakes out to Hamilton on a screen. To the 30, stays alive to the 35. Look at the offensive line all the way down. Team effort on that play, first and 10 now from the 40. Nash, bit of a high snap this time. Corralled, though, thrown out to Garrett. Spin around move. Crossover on another one. Play now for the Spartans near midfield. Back to the ground, Tyler Nevins got enough for a first down and then some. Stays alive to the 40-yard line. He's into Aggie territory. Nash pulls it down. Tries to stiff arm the man. Keeps alive, cuts back left, gets past the 35-yard line. Nash fakes the toss, throws over the middle, batted up into the air and nearly caught. Danger at the bottom of the screen. 
Martin's in the red zone. They're perfect tonight. Four of four. Nevins weaving through a hole, following the block. In Nevins again inside the five, stood up, stays alive, tries to push forward to the goal Nevins. line. With Nash. Nash rolling to Robinson at the goal line. Makes Spartans are going to use every bit of time they can here. Take a snap at two seconds to the ground again for Nevins. And give New Mexico State a chance, so. Well, they don't. They go right back to Nevins, to the 40-yard line, bounces out to the right side. He's got the...